This is for grade 10 students who are looking at parallel lines and slope calculations. Uh, we're going to look at some games, we're going to look at some puzzles, tough puzzles, and some mini competitions. The first one, we have a regular octagon, and we have to trace a loop that visits all of the points such that none of the lines are parallel to each other. How are we going to do that? It's not obvious. Have we solved it here? No, we've not. Those two lines are parallel. Uh, just doing the outside one doesn't help because those are all parallel. Does this solve it? No. Does this solve it? No. Ah. Uh, I actually have not solved this problem. Does that stop me from presenting it to you guys? No, because it's fascinating for me. I, I, I would love to know if any even uh, polygon has got a solution. And perhaps they don't. So a fascinating, but maybe a beautiful place to, to start one's exploration of parallel lines within the grade 10 curriculum. There's your worksheet. Uh, after you play around for a while, um, some of your students are going to discover uh, this nice symmetric wrong answer and uh, I don't want that you to present that initially because it's it's fun to find that wrong answer and to revel in its beauty and symmetry. And after you've played around with the 8 for a while, let's go to the 9. The um, Solutions to this will come fast and furious, but don't tell your students that. Um, leave it to them. It, it looks just as difficult, but actually it's much, much easier. Next, I want to look at a different problem that we're going to be actually uh, creating a loop with no two lines parallel inside this 3 by 3 square. Here I've only got to 7. I want to include all of the points, but at least here I've done it and I don't think I have any parallel lines. Your job is to uh, find a loop with 9 points. Is it possible? Is it not? So that's, that's your question to the students. And after they struggle with that for a while, and there's the worksheet, you hopefully are going to have some students that actually go out and calculate all of the possible slopes. Here are five of the possible slopes that you can have. And here are the other three. That means that there are only eight slopes possible in this three by three square. You need nine slopes to make a loop. Therefore, this is an impossible problem. Don't tell your students that before they begin. <laughs> Just let them flounder. Okay, whenever we jump up to um, the next square, maybe you want to do the calculations uh, in class of all of the different slopes that are possible, and this time you will find that there are exactly 16, which is exactly the number you need. Oh, I shouldn't have those ones there. I'm going to take those out. You've got 16, and that's exactly the number that you need to make a loop through all of these points. So let's try. Um, this is a very, very tough problem. So present it just to say, create the biggest loop possible without uh, having any lines parallel. So one student gets five. Congratulations, yippee, way to go. And let's try Oh, another student says, I can beat that. I've got six, ah, but not so fast. We've got two lines there that are parallel that have the same slope of one half. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's many solutions to this problem. I've just found one, and because I'm lazy, I just stop there. And this is my solution. Um, you probably wouldn't present this the first day this would be something you'd present um, you know, some later time just to remind them of the problem and to 
to let it stew for a little while just in case some some uh, somebody decides to try to solve it. So that's uh, that's my solution. And there's your worksheet. Now we're going to look at a mini competition. Here it is. The rules here are the same. We can't have uh, any two lines parallel and all of the lines have to be connected but we add a new rule and the new rule is that the lines must be also non-intersecting and the mini competition is to see which student can come up with the long the most number of line segments so here I've done six which is pretty good but we can do more uh, there's seven uh, which is significantly better and then I got to eight and I have no idea if this is as good as you can you can get you can also make this into a game so with two people one person is yellow yellow gets to choose the starting point then green gets to go green gets to choose any line from that starting point and it's yellow's turn yellow starts to draw a line now it's green's turn yellow's turn and you keep on going until one side is unable to move so I think green yellow can still make it move here but green green is stuck yeah there's no move for green now so green has lost this game yellow has won there's a five by five grid just in case you want to carry this game to larger dimensions